If you like what you hear, feel free to snap or clap, but snapping is what you do with poetry. Um, this is called Morning. One, I've spent too many hours in the dark. Only a remote and sadness for company, I had to learn to pick myself up. I still take two handfuls of pills every day to stay vertical. With a straight spine and occasional smile, there are things you can't guess about people by looking at them. The iris lies. Two, we each come to know the endless cycle that is time. It is both circle and line, endless and repeating. We live day and then night and then day again, and somehow, no matter how permanent a season it seems, the sky seems to change again. We lay in the dark each night, knowing it will be hours before morning, and still it comes sooner than we ever expect. An alarm clock rings the reminder that nothing is permanent. We must keep on. Three. There are days when you feel like sisters with the moon. Haven't seen the sunlight in what feels like millenniums, you forget what warmth feels like. All you know is the lonely shiver of spending only night a week and alone, wrapped in the dark. The sun feels so far away. And you can remember when it felt like things were on fire between you and a lover, when you burnt like the sun and now all you are is dust, watched him crumble to ashes before you and rise again like a phoenix. His eyes now look like a stranger's, and it's been a year, 365 days and nights that you haven't seen him since. And you, you don't even recognize yourself in the mirror, but sunlight on your skin feels too hot, burning you in a way that is undeserved, so you reschedule yourself to wake only during the nights. Somehow, you miss him less in the dark. Four, you fear you are your father's daughter. Insomnia and a tongue that lies without permission from the brain that is supposed to control. What delusion. And you look in his eyes, the eyes that have never looked like your own and suddenly blue on blue. They mirror all the things you fear in yourself. Have you really become all he's accused you of being? Cry yourself to sleep and hope you don't remember this feeling in the morning. Five, for years I couldn't sleep without a nightlight, too afraid of what might come to me in the dark. Then I began blocking out all light from my room, only being able to sleep with earphones in, some low hum of music in my ears. Now I can only sleep in the pitch black quiet under the haze of the pills. I lie in my bed and somehow, before I realize it, there is light leaking through the windows again. In the haunting silence, morning always comes too soon. Thank you guys. Again, Poetry Night, if you're interested, come talk to me. Um, it's okay, it's okay. Um, this is called Truth Is Bravery. Truth is, I've been called more names in the past week than I have in the years since my childhood. The names have switched from bleach because of my skin and skyscraper because of my heart height to brave for this act. I keep getting called brave and I'm not sure what for. I think it's because I put myself on the paper and then find myself up here reading it to you. And as many times as it's been said, I haven't once said thank you. Instead, I argue that there is no courage in me. There is no bravery. There is only stupidity and recklessness that I walk up here not with a sense of self, but instead with shaking hands and too shrill a voice. The last two times I've read, I nearly apologized to the audience. Bravery requires confidence. Do not accuse me of such. Truth is, these words bleed from me. I know not where they come from. They run through my veins until I am so wounded that they leave a stain on paper that others have even called beautiful. Often I know not what they're trying to say. I become a puppet whose mouth and hands are the only things that work. I've been told nobody cares if you write truthfully. That these things that come from you, it doesn't matter if they're true as long as they're honest. I think I know what that means because I find myself writing memories I'm not sure ever happened. Truth is, 
I'm angry that I feel that these words are my only worth, that this is all I have to offer you. Truth is, I'm shaking. I spent 20 minutes painting my face before I came here. I used the excuse that I have to look good because I'm being filmed. But truth is, I'm afraid of coming to you stripped. These words are nakedness. So I plan my outfit and put on makeup, hoping it will cancel out how bare I feel in front of you right now. Truth is, the only thing that keeps me from crying is how much black there is on my eyes. I've probably never been this honest with a group of strangers. Truth is, I'm terrified. I'm terrified to come to you and not hide behind a story or a metaphor. Hopefully, I'll find it in me to come to you next week with a bare face and new poem, and you will welcome me back. Maybe, eventually, I'll write myself brave. Thank you guys again. Enjoy everyone who performs, because we're on it tonight. Hey, one more time for Otto. Otto.